Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give God praise in the house. Come on, give God praise in the house. Ask me how do you give God praise? You give God praise with your hands. Come on, lift your hands in the house. You give God praise with your mouth. Give your mouth in the house. I don't read you in the house. You give God praise with your mouth. Open up your mouth in the house. Hallelujah. Then you just think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for you. After you think of all these things, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. That is the highest praise. Open up your mouth and get down to praise in the house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's been so good to us. He's been so great to us. We must praise him. Hallelujah. Can you just begin to think of the goodness? How you slept last night? How you woke up in your right mind? How he kept you through the week? How he called your name and you woke up this morning?
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes. What shall we say then to these men? All right. If God be for us, right. if God be for us, yes, if God be for us, who can be against us? Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. 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 We are praising God today for God is truly a good God. Hallelujah. I thank God for being my Hallelujah. I thank God for being my Jehovah Jireh. Who is my provider? I thank God for being Jehovah Nisi. Who is the one that will fight my battle? I thank God for being Jehovah Rapha. He is the one that will heal my body. I thank God for being Jehovah Shama. For he is the one that will give us peace. I thank God for being Elohim. For he is God. I thank God for being El Shaddai. For he is the living God. I thank God for being Emmanuel, for he is the God who is with us. And most of all, I thank God for being Jesus Christ, for he is my Savior. And I just praise him and I lift him up, for God is truly God. Hallelujah. For we are worshiping our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today, for we are refuge to for ministry a fellowship of love. And we're located at 105 Joseph Lowry Boulevard at Natural Georgia 30314. And we're under the direction of Dr. Bishop Elijah Solomon, who is our senior pastor, Elder Dr. Dr. Elder Tyrone Sherman, who is our associate pastor, and Elder Thomas Ponder, who is our assistant pastor. We invite you each and every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for our Facebook Live Worship and Praise service. And we also invite you at, at, into our sanctuary. And we invite you on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock p.m. for our prayer service, where we are learning the Word of God. For the Word of God is living. It was living then, and it, it is living now. And we need Him more and more today than we ever needed Him before. And we just ask that you lift up your hand and worship and pray to our Praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody ready to worship? Anybody ready to pray? Yes. Somebody say, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good. And your mercies endure forever. Oh, come on. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good. And your mercies endure forever.
There is a breaking in the house. There's a breaking in the house. I feel your spirit is strong in the house. I feel chains being loose in the house. If you press your prayer in the house. If you press your prayer in the house. You better be able to go pray to you.
just run an office and make a joyful noise. A joyful noise is in Hallelujah. Praise be the name of God. Julie, we want to thank the praise team for an excellent service this morning. Amen. We just, we just want to have a good time in the name of the Lord. Amen. As the old preachers used to say, anything dead should be buried. God is alive. And he's full of spirit. Hallelujah. And all you got to do is say, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Just come into my heart. Hallelujah. Pray be the name of God. Amen. We give our nerves to the Spirit of Christ. In absence of our pastor, Dr. Elijah Solomon and First Lady Christine Solomon, and also the associate pastor, Dr. Tom Sherman. Amen. Do we praise the Lord for all of you that's here today? Because we know you came to have a good time. Amen. And I'm not going to stop you either. Amen. I may dance a little bit myself. Amen. Praise be the name of God. God is so good to me. He is so good to me. I, can't, I just can't stop talking about how good he is. Amen. He is so good. We're happy to see all of you out today. Amen. And we pray for you that the Lord will keep you under his care. Amen. We're not going to hold you long. We're just going to talk a little bit, amen, about the Word of God. Amen. And truly, the Lord is able to do all things. Yes. Amen. We want to turn your attention to just a passage of Scripture that's written in the book of Galatians, the sixth chapter, and the ninth verse, just one verse, Galatians 6 and 9. Galatians 6 and 9. And it reads, And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. In due season we shall reap if we faint not. We want to use a subject for today. Your deliverance will come. As we look in our society today, we see things are just still going on and on and on, amen, about this various diseases and, 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 you know, the president was very, very smart. He's thumbs up, meaning he's feeling good, amen. But a lot of people are going through other things. The Bible tells us that we're going to have trials and tribulation, but in him we can have what? Peace. God is a God of peace. Yes, no matter what the situation may be, yes, God is able to deliver you. Yes, he is able to do all things, and without him we can do nothing. Yes, Amen. And we look at the scripture and, and, and we realize that there is so much going on in the world today. The society is just totally in a wreck. High prices, Groceries high, gasoline still high, amen, and, and, and people just doing everything that they want to do. But I'm here to tell you, God is able. No matter what the problem or the situation you may be in, God is able. It's just a matter of you saying, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. If thou would draw my step to me, tell me, where can I go? Somebody say, where can I go? Where can I go? Nowhere but to the Lord. As we look through the word, we, we can see so many examples of how God is telling us that we should be. We shouldn't always worry about things. Have you ever been in a situation where, 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 where uh, 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 your car needs repairing and, 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 and you know, as you, you need repairing, you, you, you don't have the money to get it repaired? And so that transmission is out. And so you, you say, well, well, I'm going to get $1,600 to get this transmission fixed. Amen. But I tell you, there is one that knows. Sit high and look low. Amen. He said, all you have to do is ask. Yes. All you have to do is ask, and he will do it. Yes, he, will. he will give you the desire of your heart. Yes. 
But you have to believe that comes by faith. Faith is not coming by law, but it comes by from above. I don't hear nobody praying, but you don't know what I'm talking about. And that, you know, sometimes you get in a situation, you just have to, you just think a minute. And the first thing you think you about to do, well, can I just uh, borrow something from somebody? Your faith. God is able to deliver. How many know God is able? How many know God is able? Whatever your problem may be today, God is able. All you have to do is believe and trust in him. He said there is nothing too hard that he can't do. Amen. Pray in the name of God. Amen. So remember always, impossible is nothing impossible to let you down but yourself. That's what will always let you down, itself. No matter what the problem may be, your situation may be, God is able to deliver you. I believe I was read the scripture, amen, in Romans 8, 31, what shall we set the end to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? And I see why David said in the 23rd Division of Psalm, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, but thou art with me, even though I'm with you always. Hallelujah. With you always, even to the end of the world. I, I, I'm with you. No matter what problem you have, I'm with you. I'm there. Just ask me. Those of you that are looking at and looking at the situation that you may be in, just believe and trust in God. And then just trust in God and believe God is able. He's able to do all things. There is nothing impossible with God. Amen. And so God gives us all kinds of examples that we, I mean, I, the first one that came to mind when I, I stepped back and I said, well, give me a good example. Lord. He said, well, come on, talk about the lady with 12 years having the same problem. Yes, yes. I said the lady had 12 years with the same problem. Yes, going from one doctor to the other. Yes, yes. Amen. But there is one that you have to worry about. If you hold on to God and change your hand, he can do all things. Just hold to his hand. My fingers are hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. That's all you have to do. Hold to his hand. He's able to deliver you. The Bible tells me that she went from doctor to doctor, get no results. But God is able. She heard about Jesus Christ. How many heard about Jesus? How many heard about Jesus? And you can hear you heard this morning about Jesus. He's able. And one day, she doubled in herself. She said, if I could just touch the hem of his mouth. Hallelujah. If I could just feel the Holy Spirit every now and then. That you feel something every now and then. I can feel the fire burning every now and then. I can feel his presence with me. He said, no, I'm with you always. Always. Your deliverance is right here. I am with you always. No matter what the situation may be, I'm with you. The Bible tells us that one day Jesus came by. And man, have you ever had Jesus come by you and just brush up against you? Hallelujah. You ever feel that spirit here now and then? Do you ever feel that spirit in our name where he just brushed you a little bit? And you say, oh, hallelujah. And she said, if I could just touch the hem. I don't have to touch the whole thing, just the hem of the garment. Hallelujah. I know I'll be all right. You can have the same situation, the same scenario. You're just waiting on the Lord. Just wait on him. Don't give up. Just wait on the Lord. If you wait on the Lord, he said, you shall renew your strength. He said, if you wait on me, you're not up a wing like an eagle. You'll run and not get hurt. You'll walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. And then I was thinking, as the choir was singing, my favorite partner. 38 years <laughs> trying to do one thing 
for 38 years. Have you ever been in a situation where you've been doing something for year after year after year? You haven't been counting the years, but, but I'm sure that, that, that you have been in situations like that. Maybe one year, two year, three years. 38 years. He waited 38 years. And I can see him in my mind. He couldn't walk, he had to crawl. And he said, now, I, 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 if I just make it to the pool, that's in the fifth chapter. Yes. He said, if I just make it to the pool, I know I'll be made whole. But every time he got near it, the angel stopped troubling the water. And this is was a situation where, where, where the angel every season would come in and, and, and trouble the water. And, and if you was able to get in the water, your body would be healed. A lot of people are sitting at home today, they are suffering. But if you just come to church, Amen. if you just come to church, yes. you can get healed. Yes. God can heal anything, cancer, anything. Yes. All you have to do is believe and trust in Him. And every time I can see Him, He just crawling, trying to get to the food. I don't know, but you know, I don't know about you, but you know, I, I, I've been having I have problems. I, Myself, you know, and, and, and I, I, I remember that that I was just you know just torn all the pieces, and every time I called him Lord, and like he wasn't coming, I still called him. He said, "Call him in the day of trouble, and he will deliver you." Yes, he will. And as the young man, the old man, he began to crawl down. I'm sure you've been in a situation where you've been buying a house and, and, and every time you, you get, you think you got it, something come up. You don't have it. There come again, come up, you don't have it. And you say, well, well why I can't make it? You said everything belonged to you, why I can't make it? That's what the 24th of the Song said, the earth is the Lord. And the bull thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Everything belongs to God. That's what you got to remember. Everything belongs to God. He made it, it belonged to Him. Yes. He was just crawling, trying to get there year after year, year after year, season after season. And one day, just like it happened to you, one day it will happen to you. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. But one day it will happen to you. Lord, fill me with the Holy Spirit. It may happen to you. Hallelujah. He got there. And he was sitting at the pool. And Lord, but was very discouraged. After 38 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't know that was a person that, that had all power. He said, it's what? What was seem to be the problem here? I'm just going to uh, arrange it in my, my word, not the word of God, but uh, it's the same thing. And, and, and the man looked up at him and, and, and probably told him that every time I get ready to come to this pool, mm -hmm. <laughs> everything seemed to fall apart. Yeah, yeah. Every time that you want to do something for good, it seemed to fall apart. And the man said, uh, well, I have nobody to help me get in. Have you ever been in a situation where you, 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 you ask a person for something and, and they say, well, I don't have it. Oh, y'all, y'all got plenty of money then. That's okay. <laughs> y'all got plenty of money. When you're ready to buy that house, you, 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 you know, you say, I can't buy the house. I don't have enough money. When you get ready to buy that car, I don't have enough money. But do you know that you can get a car, you can get a house, you can get everything you want from the Lord. And then on top of that, on top of that, he got to make his way and look for you. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. The Lord said, well, don't worry. He said, just get on up. Take your bed and walk. The man did exactly what God said. See, that's what to do. That's what to do exactly what God said. Take up your bed and walk. 
That's the emphasis on it. Take your bed up and walk. People say, I don't have this, I don't have that, because I, I, just, I just don't receive it. But God has the power. Yes, he does. Over yes. oh, all power. Yes, yes. He is the everlasting Father. He is the Prince of Peace. Yes. The man took up his bed. good experience for us. No matter how many years it takes, whatever we're trying to get, somebody may be sick in the spirit of Christ. But you don't have to worry about it because if you have faith in Christ, you can do it. Somebody may be looking for a husband or a wife or, or whatever. That's where you have to be careful now. I didn't wait man behind that. You have to be careful because if, if you tell God, I would like a husband, he sent one to you. And you said, well, I didn't like him because he, you said, well, you said you want a husband. You didn't say, what kind? You didn't say he had to be saved. You didn't say I'm saved. So he, I, he said, you're saved. But he didn't look that good. <laughs> he didn't drive a, 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 a Lincoln or a Cadillac or, or whatever. So you said, well, I, I'm rejecting that. I, 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 I'll move on to something different. Be specific. Tell God what you want. God, I need this. God, I need that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Your deliverance will come. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes. But it can't come if you keep blocking it. Uh -huh. How do we block it? By disbelief. Mm -hmm. That's how we block it. By disbelief. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Uh -huh. The other thing of things not seen. You can't see faith, but you can have faith. Why? Because God's word is what we go by. And when we go by God's word, he can do all things. All things. All things. Not one thing, all things. When I wake up every morning, I think about the goodness of Jesus. And all he's done for me I can't do nothing but just wave my hand and say my soul cries out hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God for saving me. When I see so much going on in the world, amen, I, I, I have to thank God that, that I, I'm a part of him, not of them. Right. See, that's what's wrong with people today. The Lord tells you, come on, and we be separated, said the Lord. But if you go to him, you'll receive nothing but blessings. Receive nothing but blessing. Blessing on top of blessing. Blessing on top of blessing. Blessing on top of blessing. Your blessing have your name on it. Every time you look around, you say, my name is Thomas, and I got the blessing. Yeah. When we did the special offering, gift, or the rock, or the brick, a lot of folks, I looked at them and I said, I wonder why they can't do this all the time. We missed up a blessing. We would take $100 and go spend it on ourselves, but we can't take 100 and spend it on God. Amen, amen. I didn't get no do me an amen on that. <laughs> then we wonder why. Where's our faith? Where's our faith? Our deliverer is right there, but we, we, we just keep rejecting. Because we don't have the faith that he can do all things. That's what it is. But God said, I can do all things all through things. Christ. Yes, 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 yes. He said, I can do all things. Yes. And you know, I like the thing on the wall. It says, our Lord Jesus Christ is in control uh, refuse. Therefore, what is impossible? Failing is impossible. Whenever God is in the country, failure is impossible. As we get ready to close out our message, 
I want to tell you that God is able to do all things. And without him, we can do nothing. Whatever your problem, whatever your situation may be, just look to Jesus. He's able to do all things. As we pray for you, just remember God comes first in everything. Grace of God, we want to thank you right now for your word. We want to thank you for your people, oh God. Stirring their hearts to, oh God, to ask you for everything they need. For you said you would supply all our needs, not one, but all our needs. Not what we want, but all our needs. We ask you to touch right now. That person that feels that they are left out of everything, just touch them. Let them know that God, you are God. And beside you, there is none of us. And we ever give you the praise, give you the thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Amen. We hope you receive God's word. Take this off, so I brought it back here for you. You know what I mean? I don't want to break your phone.